Welcome to Fandom Friday, where Rogers Public Library staff gets to talk about things that we love. Whether it's movies or games or music or books, if you can be a fan of it, we want to talk about it. My name's Leslie Canerium, and I'm going to talk about something that's dear to my heart. Manga, specifically shoujo manga. As the name says, shoujo manga is comic book, Japanese comic books designed for young girls. And I am certainly not a young girl, but why do I love them so much? Well, you may not have noticed out there, but times are hard and kind of stressful. And one thing shoujo manga likes to do is focus on happy endings and pure hearts and kind motives and friendship and all the gentle things that help us get through difficult times. One of the most typical topics in shoujo manga is teenage love stories. In fact, most shoujo manga has some sort of love story, at least in the background, but some put them front and center, particularly high school romance. The romance can be serious and it could deal with heavy topics like bullying or even sometimes uh, sex, though most shoujo manga tends to be very chaste and innocent. Or it can be humorous as in a love story between two geniuses who keep trying to convince the other one to confess their love first or it can be downright ridiculous, as in one of my favorite stories, uh, a romance between a high school girl and a billionaire businessman, 10 years her senior, a concept that is so sketchy and ridiculous that it would be really uncomfortable if all the characters didn't say out right front, you know, this is really sketchy and ridiculous. But the kind of shoujo manga I like best is the stuff that where the romance takes a backseat and it's really set in a science fiction or fantasy world. One I simply cannot resist is Library Wars, which takes place in a near future Japan where books are heavily censored and so librarians take it upon themselves to uh, go undergo military style training so they can protect the books they love and make sure that the public has access to them. Some fantasies are very serious, such as Sacrificial uh, Princess and the King of Beasts, which talks about civil wars and sacrifice and the hardships of ruling. Some are gentle, such as Witch Hat Atelier, which I fell in love with even before I knew what the story was about on the basis of its incredibly beautiful art. I hope you can just see some of these pictures and see how gorgeous it is. And then there's some that seem to have it all. I think this is possibly one of the best manga be series being published right now, whether it's for young girls, adults, or anybody. Yona of the Dawn is an incredibly drawn, brilliantly written historical fantasy where we get to see a huge cast of characters change and grow as they learn to, co as they learn to cope with civil war and what's really behind ruling a kingdom. The one thing that all these books have in common is that the heroine, and it's usually a female protagonist, a young woman, is pure of heart, earnest, and always doing her best. And whether there's a romance or not, she learns to judge people less harshly, appreciate their differences, and make a family out of the friends she finds along the way. And right now, when things are this hard, I really appreciate that lesson, and I just kind of want to curl up with a found family inside these covers.
So that's the, it for this week's Fandom Friday. My name's Leslie. If you ever want to come talk about these or any other comic books, or really any books at all, uh, I hope you'll join us next week when another Rogers Public Library staff member geeks about something that they really love. <laughs>